Morning world, welcome to Bank Holiday Monday or Easter Monday. Um, back on removing the oil in today, but do you know what? Some of this is already too good to chuck in a hole. So I'm going to put a load in Donald and save that for ready for the top dress in the garden again. Well, might as well. Just remember, You're in the way. Just remember, you volunteered this. Ow! Free haircut. I did not say it was free. Well, no, but I think I got what I paid for. Look at the nuts on that. I'm done. Right, well that's another couple of ton, so oh you could rate that with a fork, couldn't you? As in dinner fork. So, okay, so that's gonna go back in the barn, in the dry, just in case it gets wet, and then I've got that as and when I need. I'm gonna um, buy some fresh grass seed, do the lawn because the mice got on my last lot, and so the idea is put some grass seed down. Scatter this over the top, rake it, roll it, hopefully, job done. Well, that's pretty much all the soil gone. Last load on there. There is still a bit to scratch up. Um, the old horn beam stumps will have to come out. But I think I'll, I'll wait till next week for doing that. So we've had a couple of little snow flurries. Nothing very exciting. Still a bit coming down now, but we're going to tip that. Um, shut the gates down there. Check my tadpoles. And, um, and I think 
don't know why I look at the watch because I broke it. Um, it's coffee time now. So, right, let's get this lock tipped. Right, so this is a little job for me. One on Twitter, me thumbs for an afternoon. I'll come down with the skid steer or the deuce and one or the other. And basically, we'll, we'll level this across because in there, all down that side there, is just rubble, blocks, and stone, and basically building detritus. But there was also lumps of it, I don't know if you can see it right at the back there, all around the corner. So the idea is if I can level this off, and bring it back up through here a little bit, get rid of these lumps and bumps. I can actually redo the track around the outside of this field, redig the ditch, and basically tidy it up. So <coughs> it is a wildlife area, it is reserved for that, but it was always my intention to create a track all around the outside so I can um, maintain the boundary. Right, okay, that's that bit explained. We'll go and see if we can find any tadpoles. A bit early for legs yet, innit? But you never know. Ooh, the snow. I was asked on a previous video when I came down here what all the silver foliage was. Well, it's not foliage, it's actually the flowers on the blackthorn. So, so flowers on blackthorn and snow sometimes equates to what they call a blackthorn winter. So, a late one. Rarely welcome one either. All the wasted timber, we got a load of old stumps and rubbish at the farm, and that is due to come down here. I'm going to add that to this pile here. This is all mainly willow, I think that is in there, but it was cut up and left there, and we're going to simply add to that because, as far as I'm concerned, the habitat value for that next to the ponds is was well, priceless for amphibians and stuff like that. That is a fantastic place to spend winter or a bit of protection maybe in the summer so toads um lizards if we get any newts down here they'll get in there all sorts so okay so the pond level has gone down even on the big pond a bit that does not bode well for the little pond but i can see tadpoles swimming around in there I don't know if you can see them or not. But they're in there. Dozens of them. Okay. Right. Can you see that tadpole there though? He's been caught. I don't know if I come up on there. He's been caught by another beastie. So, although, <laughs> although I knew we'd lose a few, I didn't expect to see it. Right, okay, I can't actually remember the name of that beastie in there. So I'll look it up and I'll put it here or here or something so yeah so they are being predated on we kind of expected that 
we knew we'd lose some, but there are dozens in there. I'll have to pull up through here. I'm pleased to see it because that was the idea. This pond will dry up in the summer. If we get a dry summer, this will dry up. But by that time, hopefully, all the frogs will be out. They'll all be in the log piles and under the sheets of tin we got over there and ready to spawn again next year. Better live with them. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Well, it's a lovely Easter holiday Monday afternoon. And I will admit, I considered sitting on my backside and doing nothing this afternoon. And then I decided I wasn't going to do that. Do you remember this morning I filled the dumper up with a load of lovely fresh green topsoil? Well, the best time to lay it and rake it out is right after it's been screened because that's when it's most friable. In a heap in there it's going to compact. I will not say it's going to come lumpy, but It'll never be easier to rake than it is right now, so I might as well rake it now. Can I get you out of there without moving the skid steer? I reckon. Up a new toy. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to cook a bit more. That didn't go as far as I thought it was going to. That was, well, a heap dumper load, so I thought it was dry. Probably best part of 310 on there. Um, a lot e easier raking it with this fella, but then that's what this rake is made for, rather than the tarmac rake. So, still can't find my two original ones, which weren't as good as this anyway, because they had wood handles and they were heavier. This is, this is quite light, it's quite nice, so. Although in saying that, the head, the head could probably be doing with a little bit heavier. Just I haven't got to hold it down so much. But when it's um, screened this fine, you don't really need a lot of weight. Um, you let the rake do the work rather than you. So that's taken me, what, half hour-ish to spread that in there, maybe 40 minutes. So not too bad. Probably want the same amount again, if not a bit more. Then go on down then. 
and if I finish off the rest of rest of the garden, I mean, I suppose I could go and screen some tonight. I got nothing else to do. I'm glad I got all this colour to the brow of the hill though, because um, it won't show up as a different line. That's it. You walk on it. Why don't you just, and sit on it? Why not? Do you know, just why don't you just take a dump on it and I've done with it. Yeah. I gotta go over it again tomorrow. I'll buy some grassy tomorrow. Give it a little rake over quick because the dogs are gonna run out tonight. I'm gonna have to think of some way of putting some fencing up or something to keep them off this because six dogs, especially with two pups, they're just well they're just gonna do that. But I think it'd be a case of rake it, um, chuck some seed on it, put the roll back on the tractor while it's nice and dry and firm out here, roll it and we'll just see how we get on. And I'll see if I can think of a way of protecting it without creating Fort Knox. I was always inclined to make history But I never really had the time Spent my life living dangerously Never worried how I'm getting by I'm out here working Trying to do what I can I'm out here sweating Dripping blood from my hands Doing what I'm good at Just doing what I'm made for Trouble comes for me, it was always gonna find me out. I'm gonna keep on walking, taking what I need. Ain't nothing gonna touch me now. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating.